Hello Year 5s, it's me again and we are on Friday English Sheet 5, right the cliffhanger. Now I'm hoping that we're well, obviously first of all, once again, apologies for the do now being the same. Um, so once again then, you don't need to look at that for today, more time to write. I've got a few people sending me in uh, little little snippets of their work and they read quite well. Let me just remind you, don't forget to use the images of all our vocabulary in our classroom and remember all the senses. So what we can see, what we can hear, what we can smell or touch, how our character is feeling, their emotions. If you, if you even just mention one or two of each of those throughout your writing for each section, you're going to have something brilliant, okay? Our writing is, this, is one of the things at the moment that has improved the most. And I want people to see that at home. Okay, guys. So, you should have a half a paragraph, a half a page, a page of the door handle, the suspense, the darkness. You then will, you should then have a, a paragraph or half a page or a page of going through that into another world, to another room, wherever you want it to go. And then you should finish off. I don't want this. I don't want this story to be wrapped up. It's not meant to be a story. It's just a, almost a a short tale, a short extract. I want a cliffhanger now. Make the person want to read on. So it's hard for me to give advice now because I don't know what you've gone for in your in your middle bit. But wherever you've gone for, maybe something catches your eye. Maybe there's something that shines and you go towards it. Maybe there's a noise. Maybe someone's. Maybe you think someone's crying. You can go towards them. You hear your, your, your heart beating faster. Your breath gets shallower and more rapid as you get closer and closer. Um, anything that's going to make you just move through your world a little bit more or your room, wherever you are. And come across something. Maybe you, you, there's a hand on your shoulder. Maybe there's a figure in the distance. Something that will make the reader go, oh! Well, what's that mean? Or who's that? Or oh, well, what's going to happen next? But that's where you stop. Okay? So build it up. And remember, you can only create tension with well, weaving in short sentences and lots of description. Okay? Think about the reading task. Strewn like broken gravestones. That, that Even just that, that just helps with the description and the hook for the reader. So it's all about the description and what you choose to write. Okay, and feel free to send some photos and email them to me. I'll have a little read. So good luck and I look forward to reading them.